this has been a really useful document for us so far and the only thing that it doesn't allow us to do is to update these records so this video will, video will show us how to update those records so I'm going back into Dreamweaver I'm looking at it and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, I'm going to create the next document first so I'll do a file new document and I'm gonna do a PHP document this is going to be the update records form okay so what we've got to do on this page is first off we're gonna to have to work in conjunction with another page because we have to have a parameter passed to this page so that this page knows what record to update and so we'll be going back to the customer records document and we'll be selecting some element of this PHP code that indicates record numbers we'll go ahead and pick that one and what we're gonna do and we can't do it yet because it doesn't exist is we're going to create a link and within that link we're going to create uh, parameters that are going to pass whatever the the key code is here to this other document so we'll get to that in a little while uh, so that's what we're working to I'm gonna go ahead and save this document and we will call this update record PHP and now we will get into what we need to do uh, obviously we have to have the database set up we have to set up bindings the, the bindings begin the same way as everything has been before so we've got our record set and we can call that whatever you want we've got our connection and we've got our tables now what we need to do is we need to add a filter to this and what we need to do is we need to add a filter by the key code and the type of filter that we're going to do is it is going to be a URL parameter that's how it passes that data from the customer records to the update record document so what it's going to do is it's going to grab that customer number and it's going to send it in a URL it's going to send the, the customer number to this other to the page that we're working on right now and um, so this will then receive that customer number and it will allow us to go on now when you go to test this it's not going to give us anything we gotta test it so first thing we need to do is we need to find a customer number so let's go into customer records and I see here that I've got 119 so uh, as the customer number so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in a Dreamweaver and I'm gonna type in 119 there because you have to have a value to test that's valid and I click OK and it's gonna bring that record uh, that I was just looking at the one that has the customer number of 119 and so that we can see that that is working properly we're not gonna sort it and then we click OK so now we've got our binding set up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to use the update record form wizard so it's going to check the connection it's going to uh, check the table to update as customers we're choosing from record set one which is what we just set up and it already knows that it needs the the unique key column so then what we're going to do after that we're going to tell it to browse and we're going to once again after it does its thing we're going to send it back to customer records so that we can uh, see what's going on and then we're gonna go ahead and choose OK and what that should do is it'll set up the form and you'll notice that you can't edit in this customer number thing but the other thing that it's going to do is it's going to uh, set, set up some hidden variables in here and you'll notice that one of those is going to um, echo the record set uh, customer number so what that's doing is receive passing and receiving that variable uh, so that we can update our records form and just because I'm picky I'm gonna move 
that back up to the top of the page where it belongs. And then we're going to go ahead and save this and uh, make the hyperlink to it. So I'm going to save everything. Then I'm going to come back over here to the customer records and we have that section. I'm going to use the browse for file. I'm going to select the file that we're going to and that's update record. And I'm going to set the parameters and the value is customer, num customer number. And then using this binding data icon, I click on the customer number, I click OK, click OK again, you'll notice that it adds that PHP code there that's going to send that through the URL, and then we click OK, and you'll notice that it puts that code in there that says, from the record set, send the content, the echo means to send. Uh, or, or to echo the customer number. So it's sending that in a URL uh, to the update record location. So let's try this and see if it works. I'm going to save all and I'm going to go ahead and synchronize the site. Now when I come in here and I reload my document, you'll notice that we have the number there. When we click on that, that brings all of that data over here. You can't change the key code because uh, the customer number in this case because that is the unique thing. So we'll just change this to gifts and that's the only thing that we'll change just to, to keep it short. We'll choose update record that should sit in this back to our customer records. You see the number 119 there. You see gifts, the change that we just made. And then if I wanted to, I could go and delete this. I could insert new records. I could scroll through my records. And so we have successfully accomplished all of the different types of ways of manipulating data that you will need to do in this database.